Chronic wasting disease. It's a term that may not be on every livestock producer's radar, but with the recent detection of CWD in Georgia deer, some farmers and ranchers are wondering, could this pose a risk to my herd? After all, deer often share grazing spaces with livestock, so it's a valid concern. To help separate fact from fear, I recently spoke with Tina Johansson at the Georgia Department of Natural Resources to break down what CWD means for Georgia's wildlife, how it spreads, and most importantly, whether livestock owners should be worried. Tina Johansson, thanks so much for joining the show. Um, let's get right to the big, uh, you know, controversy, worry, whatever you want to call it. Hypothetically speaking, I am a livestock producer. I've got horses in my field. I've got cattle. I've got sheep. I've got goats. I see some deer grazing towards all my livestock. Should I be concerned that my livestock is going to get CWD because of these deer? No, it's the, the short answer. So the good news on that front is CWD has been out on the landscape now for over 50 years in parts of the West and over 20 years in parts of the East. And there's no evidence that it infects anything other than deer, elk, and moose. Okay. So that's the good news is it doesn't seem to affect people, pets, scavengers, livestock, even animals like uh, feral pigs where they they do seem to eat it and you can find it in them they don't seem to be putting it back out on the landscape so okay. that's the good news okay and let's go back to that hypothetical livestock producer here um, i see a deer in my field what am i looking for to really determine if this deer or deer um i guess deer plural or whatever um might have cwd i mean are they doing like backflips are they rolling around on the ground are they are they aggressive what am I looking for? So that's one of the frustrating things about it is for, so this disease takes 18 to 30 months from the time mm -hmm. a deer is infected to when you, it will eventually die. Mm -hmm. For almost that entire period, they look perfectly healthy. And so it's not until those last few weeks that you see the wasting that gives it its name. Um, it is a neurological disease, so it does cause literal brain damage and damage to the central nervous system and so in those late stages you do see what you know a farmer would think of as neurological symptoms it's, it's depressed droopy ears skinny poor coat doesn't act right you know it's it doesn't run away like it should mm -hmm. it's obviously you know something is wrong with it the problem is all of those symptoms are almost identical to what you would see with blue tongue or epizootic hemorrhagic disease. Um, brain abscesses cause very similar symptoms and we do have parts of the state where brain abscesses are something we'll see every couple of years in an individual deer. That Those diseases aren't transmitted from deer to deer by contact the way yeah. CWD is. Yeah, and my final question for you, Tina, um, I'm not a hunter per se, but I have a, a lot of friends, a lot of farmers are hunters. What if they're out, you know, hunting in a CWD management area? What advice would you have for them? So the biggest thing, and, and right now our, our chronic waste and disease management area is Berrien and Lanier counties. Okay. And so for hunting season, we'll be setting up drop-off stations. We'll have freezers where people can cut the head off of their deer, drop it in that freezer, and we'll, we will test it for them. Mm. And we will let them know as soon as we get the results back whether that deer was positive or not if that deer is positive the cdc does recommend that you not eat it that's totally up to the hunter um you know they can do their own research and decide how they feel about it but you know the cdc they don't take a lot of risks with human lives so they you know anytime a deer is sick we tell people to discard it so the, that's the biggest thing is that if you hunt in those counties we strongly urge people to participate in our sampling. It's voluntary. They don't have to. Um, but one, they can find out, is my deer positive? And two, that helps us with our overall management because we want to try to keep this in as small an area as we can for as long as we can.
For more information on chronic wasting disease and how it impacts Georgia's deer population, visit the Georgia DNR website at georgiawildlife.com slash CWD.